Welcome back. So, today, we're going to resume playing Polyology. Um, last time I was playing this game, I wasn't able to get on the internet. So, chances are, you weren't able to see that live. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to see it live today. Um, let me check. Can I actually play this with a controller? Because that'd be cool, too. Um... Let's see. Uh, apparently not. Apparently we're still going to use the keyboard. That's okay. So, the objective of this game is to link up all the blocks with the same numbers on them, right? Um, actually, I've beaten this level before. Yeah, I've already gotten three stars on all the poly switch levels. Um, I think I've gotten three stars on all of these levels, I think. So what remains to be done, um, is arcade mode. <laughs> yeah, let's start with vanilla. Um, so you can just get a sense of, like, how this game normally works. So I'm pushing together two two blocks, pushing together three three blocks. Let's get these five blocks together. Um, and since this is arcade mode, blocks are endlessly spawning. Um, so you see how it works, right? Uh, I got some four blocks to connect. You can actually connect more than uh, four blocks of the same type there, and it'll give you a small bonus um, in the form, I think, of incrementing the timer. Um, and so yeah, your goal is just to link up as many of these as you can, basically. Um, so I want to get these fours together. Uh, link up these threes. Check that out. So uh, let's get this three over there. And let's put some fives together. See how many of these I can get all in one spot. There we go. Hook these threes up. Um, hook up these twos, and these other twos, and these fours. You'll note that there's a relatively constant number of blocks on the screen if you're relatively efficient about clearing these blocks off the screen. Um, it can also be useful to backtrack like I did there if you want to get multiple blocks next to each other. Um, ah, well this is, okay. Like, backing up in order to push more blocks and pipeline things through can be often an effective move. Um, that was just more accidental there. That was not particularly strategic for me to, um, well you saw what I did. I can't explain it very well while I'm playing the game. All right, so let's look these up, push these fives together. Uh, let's hook these twos up, or at least get a little bit closer there. Um, hook these twos up, put the fives together, get these fours over here in a line. Oh, nice. Uh, let's just push that, hook those up. Okay. So you get the basic idea for how vanilla polyology works. Um, oh, is it seriously not going to give me... Okay, there's another five, but I don't feel like chasing that down. Let's hook these up. Let's hook these up. Just see how many of these I can hook up at the last second. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Can I get a two, please? Nope, that's not a two. Uh, GG. So I've already completed all the high score requirements for this puzzle. Um, let's move on to Constraint. So here, it's the same puzzle as the last um, puzzle. However, you can't yourself move through the diagonal, like those cancel signs. Um, you can push blocks through them, but you yourself are constrained by these obstacles. 
Um, so that makes this puzzle way more challenging, in my opinion. Uh, let's hook these up. see. Can I push this? Yes. That was less than ideal, but we'll take it. Put these fours together. Can I push this down? No. Alright, so here's a trick. Just bring over another block. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same number. Any of these blocks can push any of the other number blocks. They're not very particular about which numbers they push. Um... Let's see, I've got a preponderance of fives here. Uh, apparently, yeah, this is kind of a tight spot, isn't it? Um, oh, I can't push that down. There we go. Okay, let's hook these fours together. Um, those twos, these fives. Uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of deadlocked at the moment due to some pretty poor planning. Um, and you see I start to make more and more desperate moves as uh, the time control nears. Um, oh crud. Can I get another block here please? Nope. There we go. And oh, wow, a time bonus. Okay. I thought that was going to be the game right there. Boom. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, the cool thing, another cool thing about this game is that I did message the creator about just how challenging the arcade mode was and how arbitrary some of the, um, I don't know, performances are. I argued that any half-decent player should, once they've developed a um, skill for the game, they should be able to get at least one star every time. Um, and that anything less than that is a bit too arbitrary. Um, and I pointed out that a couple of the stages um, just, I don't know, it doesn't it isn't um, possible for a player to predict how these some of the stages will play out because they're just too challenging and or too arbitrary or random. All right, so uh, point with these puzzles is that um, you get these uh, these blocks expire after you push them, uh, and you've got matching blocks adjacent to each other. Oh, there goes that. I tried. I so tried. Oh well. Let's see if I can push these fours together. Um, and then once I get that four next to this four, next to this four. So these combos can chain with each other. Okay, I think we're done with the fours. Oh gosh darn it. That That's what I'm talking about. It's like those blocks will do things that just completely F with what you're in the middle of doing. Uh, I shouldn't have pushed that block because uh, it's difficult to push blocks that are on the edge. Um, Alright, can I push this? Alright, now I have a five that's free, so I could keep pushing this into all the fives. Um, push this five down and free that over here. And then I have another free five, but I think I'm out of fives. Well, at least I was. And I can't, I don't have time to chase that down. Um, so let's link up our sixes. I only have time to push, oh, here we go. So I can push this into the other sixes. And then push this into that six. And then I think I'm done with sixes. Uh, so let's hook these threes up. Um, that was unfortunate the six popped in right in the middle of my plan there. Um, like, I get that some of these random factors can't really... If you were to mitigate them entirely, there wouldn't be a game anymore. But some of these things, I don't know. Like, 
where a block pops right in front of you that completely ruins any ability to plan anything. Um, so, and that holds true for any of these puzzles. And I guess you can just accept that sometimes you're going to get screwed by the randomness and there's nothing you can do about it. But, um, you know, I think a better version of this game would try to mitigate some of that randomness somehow so you're not always getting screwed by it. And the good news is, like, some of these uh, puzzles, even if a block pops right in front of you, it doesn't matter. Um, because there are ways to um, deal with randomness uh, with other kinds of blocks. It's just that with um, this particular block set... Hang on, can I get this? Can I get this? Nope. Um, yeah, so you see... Oh, hang on. Hang on, I was about to declare defeat right there. Um, and say, yeah, you see that it's all over. Okay, now it's over. There's nothing I can do to connect enough blocks together. And I didn't manage to get a star. Um, I did get a respectable score of 73, but that's not enough for one star. Let's take it up a notch. Uh, these ice puzzles are pretty nice. Um, so the idea is you push a block and it just keeps running. Uh, this took a lot of getting used to to be able to get anywhere with it. Um, so a couple of factors you have to deal with here are just blocks popping out of nowhere, as usual. Um, but also just how difficult it is to route any of these blocks anywhere useful. Um, one thing that helps is if you don't push the blocks onto the edge directly. Um, like, to the extent you can, try to keep a block somewhere in the middle. Uh, like, the opposite of what I'm doing, basically, is what I recommend. That if you keep a block somewhere in that center 2x2 two two square or 3x3 three three square, you'll end up doing a lot better. Um, but that requires planning ahead. And where's the fun in that? Then it becomes a chore. Okay, so... Like, I could clear this immediately, but I'm just holding out to see if I get anything that suggests I should not clear those out. Um... Ouch. Ouch. Um, I'm doomed. Uh, this is okay, but, uh, yeah, no, there's no saving this. I've played too many mistakes here. I would need to push this to the right, um, and, there, yeah, there's just no saving this. I did not plan properly. I need a couple more fives there, and it's just not happening. Um... Let's try that again. Hopefully make a better showing of it this time by putting all the threes in one spot, putting all the fives in a different spot, and so forth. But yeah, the main lesson in this level is don't be too eager about pushing blocks because it often backfires. Uh, like, okay, I couldn't have expected that four to pop. Oh, I forgot, you can actually move on top of these crates here. Um, that's why I didn't get completely screwed last time. Okay, well, yeah, you definitely need to move on top of the crates to be able to progress in this one. Um, let's push that down, let's push that down, let's not get screwed this time. There we go. All right. Um, I was wondering how I managed to play so poorly. And, yeah. And part of the answer to that was just I've forgotten how this level works. Um, so, yeah, once you move on top of the crates, uh, it works a lot better. Um, uh, okay, I have to push that over so I can get this four over and up. Now, once you've pushed a block, you don't have to keep following it. At least an ice block. Okay. 
Uh, there we go. Let's get these threes lined up. I don't suppose I could do some kind of awesome chain here. Nope. Uh, it was poorly planned. Um, uh, okay. Uh, shoot. Oh, here we go. Let's push that five, go underneath this, and then push the fives up. Oh, I'd intended to do something even craftier that would get rid of the five in the corner as well, but I could not count to five. Um, let's push these fours up. Yeah, but it was cool that um, I provided feedback to the game designer based on my playthrough, and he acknowledged it and said, well, unfortunately, at the moment, he's not doing additional development on this game, but if he ever does another game, he'll consider it. Um, just in terms of, um, you know, if there is randomness, a player should be able to score consistently halfway okay. Um, all right, here we go, Trixie. This is the trickiest one of them all. This is, uh, as you go over a block, uh, you see how these um, discs spin. Oh, crud. Um, so, when I play this one, I do try... Oh, never mind, that lines them up perfectly. Um, let's see. I do try to put all the numbers, all the similar numbers in the same corner, so I have half a chance of succeeding at this. Um, I can push this here, and there we go. So, you don't have to chuck the numbers. As, like, th this is pretty similar to the ice level, um, in terms of lining up the numbers. Um, you don't need to f keep pushing once you've chucked them. Um, I'm trying to remember how I got this. I think it was on uh, the Humble Bundle. And, yeah. This is not a game that you would normally think, oh yeah, I absolutely must have something like this. But it is really good. Um... It might not be your AAA game of the week. It's no No Man's Sky or anything like that. So here I'm trying to get the five lined up like that. So I can chuck this over here. And now I can walk up and there go my numbers. Um, now can I get my threes lined up? How am I going to get this three? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can get these threes lined up. Uh, get those fours lined up. Again, having some numbers located somewhere near the center is useful as a block for building upon. Um, but yeah, I've not been able to get the one star achievement on this because this one is really freaking hard. Um, or I'm just bad at it. Take your pick. There's polyominoes. These are a bit more fun. Um, this is definitely some thinking outside the box sort of material. No pun intended. Um, like most of these uh, levels consist of you pushing a single block uh, at a time. And so this is just a very nice change of pace. Very clever. Um, only complaint I have is that, again, the RNG could use some work to be less completely screwing you over anytime you do anything mildly constructive. Um, but that aside, um, the concept of the puzzle is really nice. Even if I'm not such a big fan of the execution of it. Like that five spawning immediately between the two fours was pretty mean. Not gonna lie, kind of a dick move. All right, so I'm gonna try to connect these twos, but the yeah the largest space on the board was between the twos, and I accept that randomly, a pretty good percentage of the time things will spawn in the largest space on the board. I get that, 
What surprises me is when things spawn uh, in the smaller spaces between the blocks you're trying to work with next. And I get that randomly that's going to happen. Um, but it just seems like it happens really often. <laughs> it's not entirely random at some point. Uh, so I want to connect the twos, but again, I get this is the largest space. I just lucked out there. Uh, can I connect the fours here? Oh, here we go. Here's some fives. Here's even more fives. Um, uh, can I not be bad? Okay, cool. Let's try to connect these threes. Now, I knew there weren't enough threes for me to... Uh, complete the shape, but I didn't see any other completable shapes at the moment, so that's why I went for that. Um, ooh, if I can, con oh, here we go, here we go. Let's connect those. Um, connect these fives. Push the four out of the way because I don't see anything useful to do with it. There's another three. Can I get a two? There's a two. Uh, can I get my threes lined up? Uh, let's put the fours over there. Another nice thing you can do with these puzzles is push multiple blocks at the same time. Um, obviously this only works in levels where you're not throwing blocks. Um, oh, I can't count. Um, yeah, okay, that actually did work out. That could have been really bad. Let's put these together. Let's put the other twos together. Okay, whatever. You don't even have to be pushing the same number of blocks either. You can push blocks of different numbers and still get interesting shapes. Um, uh, oh, here's another two. All right. Um, oh, man getting anxious here because I'm close to getting 89 blocks. I'm... Uh... Oh shit. Really? Really? Okay, fate has conspired against me. Oh, did we get it? We got it! We got it, guys. I'd always been beaten by fate. Uh, that could have been terrible. All right, 94. And that's what I mean just by random. I mean, I did demonstrate good skill there, but I didn't entirely earn that. At some point, the game does have to gift it to me. Designer did point out that um, this is pseudo-random instead of random. So eventually, uh, if you just keep playing, you will find a way to beat it. Um, but I prefer not to abuse um, the game in that sense because, I don't know, at some point it would just get dull to be pushing the same exact keystrokes time and time again until um, you found the winning combination. Um, so yeah, in my mind, pseudo-random number generation is not an answer to um, the skill curve is bad. Um, but whatever. Let's see. Oh, crud. <laughs> I boxed myself in. I was then trying to connect my threes in the upper right, and then realized I didn't need to do that anymore. Okay, we're going to push this down and this left and this left, and then this one down into the other and this down, and then this across. Oh, crud. I forgot. I have my threes right here. Um, let's push this down, connect my threes. And then um, push this up, get my five into the lower left. Okay, and connect these. Um, uh, that was mean. <laughs> like, that was super mean in the game to put a block in the corner. And I get it, it's random. Uh, if it weren't random, you could cheat the system. Ah, oh, shit. Didn't mean to push that there. Thankfully, another opportunity arose here. Um, 
So let's get these fives connected and get that done. Get these twos connected. Um, can I push these? Push bar three down here. Oh, oh, this will work. Um, it's unfortunate. Well, I mean, just the nature of the puzzle, it makes it tricky to control uh, where you're putting the blocks. Oh, shit. Five, please. Five, pl no, it's not a five. All right. Well, at least I got a star. So yeah, that's arcade mode. Um, that's hard. Let's go back. Just demonstrate area. Let's demonstrate. Yeah, area one. Actually, poly polyomino one is pretty cool. So let's go to one two here just to show this concept again. Um, so in the upper left, it tells you what's the goal number of moves. So, like, I could push all of this as one push, but the goal is to clear all the blocks in four pushes, right? And so you can just keep pushing things around until you randomly happen upon the right answer. Um, the game won't stop you from doing that. Uh, although sometimes you could get into a state like this where there's just nothing to do. Um... I forget what the... maybe backspace? Well, there's a way to undo pushes and undo moves. Uh, so I think the solution was something like this. And push that down or something? I forget. This is the least efficient possible... oh! Also be careful about pushing things to the edges. Um, uh, yeah, I goofed up. Anyway, um, yeah, let me show off something I'm not going to fail at. Static. What was static about? I forget. Oh, these have some blocks that just don't move. Another really cool concept. Um, as always, be careful about pushing things into corners because you can't extract them. How did I solve this? I think I had to push this right and push this right. Um, then push this left, this up, this left, this up, and then I had to be careful about this, seven, eight, and nine. So that's polyology in a nutshell. Um, why don't I show you like the one that took me forever to solve? And I don't remember the solution. So I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to solve it in front of you. Um, wait. This is area 2. I thought there was an area 3 after this. Apparently not. Poly switch 2. Yeah, this is the one that just got brutal. I think it was 2-2 that got me. But, yeah, the idea... Oh, this one got me for a long, long time. I don't remember the answer to this one, but, like, as you push through blocks, um, really confusing things happen. Uh, so, I mean, clearing this level is not that hard. But uh, doing so in a manner that um, doesn't take a million pushes is pretty hard. So there you go. That's 12 out of 16. 13 out of 16. You get the idea. It's not too hard to actually solve it, but solving it in any kind of remotely efficient fashion is pretty challenging. Check out the profiles menu under extras. Okay, well, let's go back to extras. Oh, check that out, so you can see your progress. Um, I happen to be the only user on this computer, so I don't need to worry about that. But there is a way to handle that, too. Anyway, um, yeah, I see it's not the world's most popular game, but it's still pretty cool. 
And I figured I should feature it one more time before um, putting it in the bin for a while. I'll come back to it again at some point and try to beat the arcade. Um, but, yeah. That's polyology. Uh, so, that's it. I'm going to take a break, come back with a different game, and see you soon.